So recently, I've been running into a lot of issues since reinstalling Windows, mainly revolving around certain programs starting up, or rather, the lack thereof. For example, if I try and open MSI Afterburner, you'll see this error here. Something something side by side, something something SXS trace.exe error. The same thing goes for RTSS, River Tuner Statistics Server, which gives me the same exact error. How do we fix this? Well, it's essentially Visual C++ runtime complaining that it's not properly installed or doesn't properly work. The absolute simplest solution is to find out exactly what is causing the issue. For that, hit start and type in event, where we'll be opening event viewer. This will tell us previous events in our system and what caused things to go wrong. If we expand custom views at the very top, followed by clicking administrative events, we'll find a whole bunch of errors here. For example, all of these side-by-side -side errors, which is what we were getting, tells us exactly what caused the issue here, as well as the actual error code itself. For example, this one's missing Visual C++ 90 VC90. VC90 is the Visual Studio C++ 2008 version. Obviously, different years, things like that, it's going to be very difficult to know exactly which version you need to download and install. So, instead, what we'll do is head across to the link in the description down below, the Visual C++ redistributable all-in-one installer. This will download and install all of the Microsoft C++ versions, so everything should be set up. All we need to do is head across to the releases section here and simply click the exe version here. We'll download this and we'll run it once it's done downloading. When we open it, we'll need to click yes to running as admin. We'll click next. It'll scroll through and now it'll start installing all of the C++ runtimes. You'll see many windows open and close along this process. If you see any errors, just click OK. So we'll wait for this to finish. There's quite a few of these but that'll flick past, probably about 10 or 15 of them. Some of them will take longer to install compared to other ones, but this process is pretty much automated. And there we go, installation is now complete. We can click finish and checking control panel, followed by uninstall a program, sorting by name, clicking anywhere and pressing M to jump to Microsoft. You should see a ton of Microsoft redistributables all installed here, meaning that programs that need any one of these should now work. So if we try Afterburner, for example, which was giving me issues before, I'm still getting an error. But don't worry, this is normal. All you need to do is reboot your system and things should be working properly. Now, just a quick note, if you find that you were getting errors while installing those, in particular the 2008 copy, that especially looks something like this, what you need to do is make sure that your antivirus is temporarily disabled as that's more than likely what's causing this issue. If you don't trust this all-in-one installer, you can in particular download the C++ 2008 redistributable straight from Microsoft, both the x64 and 86 versions and install them yourself or you can trust this tool should you choose with your antivirus disabled and run it again to install these two that were giving errors earlier. This OX807005 issue has to do with permissions from what I understand and an antivirus is probably blocking access from this and important parts of Windows. Obviously, it's a Microsoft tool installing two Windows so it can't access those files and add itself. For me, simply temporarily disabling my antivirus Virus and running the installer once more fixed the issue as those two installed without hassle. As you can see in control panel, refresh, you should now see 2008 appears here as well and that's what was causing the issue. Not to mention, the antivirus probably also prevented these installing whenever I ran whatever programs that needed these in the first place. Just as proof, I don't even need to reboot my PC, I can go ahead and fire up MSI Afterburner and just like that, things work perfect. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide, so thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!